armor on kill. This is something that has been uh, talked about quite a bit this season, and that is because of the new brand set, the Palisade Steelworks. Now with the Palisade Steelworks, the very first brand set bonus you get for using one piece of it, you get 10% armor on kill. So I figured, well, what if I made a DPS armor on kill build that would give me both 45% armor on kill, but also garner me 120% amplified damage. And that's before I even talk about Obliterate and Memento and all the other damage buffs that I get in this build. So, I don't want to spoil it for you. Let's get into it. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now, shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm bringing to you a Armor on Kill DPS build that you can use in PvP and PvE. And the funny part is, is watching me use this in PvP. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. But it is quite funny. I'll, I'll show you the gameplay after this build breakdown. But let's get into the build. So armor on kill DPS. Now what you know, categorizes uh, a build to such a title. Well, first, I have 45% armor on kill. All of my mods are armor on kill. The brand set bonus I have is armor on kill. And one of the gear set bonuses I have gives me armor on kill. But I also get bonus armor on kill whenever I pick up one of my memento trophies. So I have survivability. That's not in question here. So the next question would be DPS. It, would it be considered DPS? Well, just sitting here with no memento stacks, no obliterate stacks, no nothing, uh, my Lady Death is sitting at 105.1k total damage. Now, yes, that is at expertise level 24, so that can get even higher if, uh, if I wanted to go up to expertise 25. As far as the attributes, everything's maxed out. SMG, crit chance, damage to armor, everything's good. And the talent, breathe free. Now this is where I get that amplified damage. So 75% amplified with this Lady Death. Now if I were to take this into PvP, that would drop down significantly. So if I show you right here with PvP on, it drops it down to 60% amplified instead of 75 so whenever I'm talking about the amplified damage being 120%, that's in PvE. And that's where I recommend you use this build, is PvE. Now, the PvP gameplay I'm going to show you at the end is just purely for entertainment purposes. Yes, I do win. Yes, I do MVP. And yes, I do go ham. But that's not the point. The point is, is that this is pretty much just a PvE build. And I'll show you that with Heroic and several directives to uh, show that gameplay as well. But we're getting ahead of ourselves even further, so let's start off with the top. Specialization, gunner specialization. Now the reason why I'm using the gunner specialization is that it gives me 10% armor on kill. Now I do have 45% armor on kill with this build. How? I have 10% from the gunner, right? I have 10% from the palisade, and I get 20% from Hunter's Fury. Now you might be saying, well, Kamikaze, that's only 40%. Well, I have maxed out armor on kill mods all around. And the funny thing is, is that actually equates to like 4.99% armor on kill. So you're, you're pretty much getting another 5% just by running the mods. So I have 45% armor on kill, 120% amplified damage, and I guess with uh, Obliterate, right? So put Obliterate with the Memento, and I get another 55% damage to my weapon. We're not even talking about the bonus armor that I get with the armor on kill once I pick up one of these trophies, because I get 20% bonus, arm, uh, bonus armor every trophy. And then you talk about the armor regen you get, and then the skill efficiency. Uh, I mean, you, you can start to see how this build is so deadly. Now, outside of the specialization, let's talk about the weapons. Primary weapon is going to be the Lady Death. Reason being, this is a running gun build, DPS, armor on kill. I am doing high amounts of damage in a short amount of time. 
to get that kill to maintain full armor. And as long as I keep picking up those memento stacks, I will keep bonus armor on top of my full armor. And the funny thing is, is when you watch the PvP and PvE gameplay, I only go down twice in the entire gameplay. And it's only in PvP. And that's on top of nine kills. I mean, it's a pretty damn good build. Not only that, but the armor on kill is so good. Because you get the armor on kill, but then once you pick up a memento trophy and get that bonus armor, it's like it never even happened. Like, you were never even hurt. And then on top of that, then you have the movement speed buff and then the weapon damage buff. So it's a really fun build to use. I believe I do Link Memorial in six minutes on Heroic with the directives. I mean, it's quite the show. I like this build a lot. Now, looking at the secondary weapon, I do actually use this for a few reasons. Um, the Lady Death does not have a high optimal range, so anything mid-range or long-range, use this weapon, the Shield Splinterer. This is the named F2000 with the perfect optimist, and this one has uh, damage targets out of cover on it. Now, this weapon is fully maxed out, Expertise 25, and is sitting at 108.3k total damage. And then my sidearm, I just have my backup boomstick here. This is my placeholder. Now, talking about the build, it's not possible. Mm, I mean, it is possible without the memento. What am I talking about? It's not possible without the chest piece. Let's start there. Palisade Steelworks chest piece. So the Palisade Steelworks is the brand new brand set bonus or brand set that was just introduced in the game in year five, season three. Now the Palisade Steelworks brand set bonus we get for this build is 10% armor on kill. As far as the attributes, we have armor for the core, crit chance, crit damage, and a max armor on kill mod. And then of course, obliterate, which lasts for twice as long as it used to. So now it lasts for 10 seconds and I can get that sucker up to 25% weapon damage on top of everything else. Then let's move over to the memento because the memento is just the support factor here. Let's be real. Uh, the Memento, what makes this uh, exotic backpack so good is two reasons. The first one, it comes with all three core attributes. So it's a universal item. You can use it on DPS, tanks, or skill builds. And the best part is, is it gives you all three cores. So you're kind of a hybrid just for using it. Now, the other reason why it's so cool is the talent kill confirmed. So every enemy I kill drops a trophy. And once I pick up that trophy, I get a short-term and a long-term buff. The short-term buff is only based off of my core attributes. So whenever I get a kill and pick up a trophy, I get 25% weapon damage, 20% bonus armor, and 5% skill efficiency every single trophy. Now, after that, I get the long-term buffs. So that stacks up to 30. So if I pick up, what, 31 trophies and I have 30 as my long-term buff, I get another 30% weapon damage. 3% armor region, and 30% skill efficiency. Now, you can have the 30% max stacks and still get those short-term stacks. So it gets pretty crazy pretty quick. And that's a good thing. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. All right. As far as the uh, mod max armor on kill. And let's finish up with the Hunter's Fury. So the Hunter's Fury gear set is one of my favorite gear sets in the game because it pretty much just promotes running gun and amplified damage, which I love. So for this build, the Hunter's Fury gear set bonuses that matter, we get SMG damage of 15%, armor on kill and health on kill, and then of course the four piece talent Apex Predator. Now this talent is where you get the remainder 45% amplified damage because you get an immediate 20% amplified damage just for being within 15 meters of an enemy, but then you also get an additional 25% amplified damage as long as you kill enemies that are nearby uh, and disoriented. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, as far as getting those stacks up, uh, Hunter's Fury, it's very easy. Um, as soon as the enemies spawn or you catch a group of enemies, you kill one, it's going to disorient all the others. And then once you kill them, you have your Hunter's Fury stacks up. It's pretty nice. Um, as far as the Obliterate... The more face tanking you do, the better, because the obliterate needs to stack up with those crits. And then the memento, again, all you have to do is kill those enemies and run around and pick up the trophies. And then you get stronger and stronger and stronger as you keep going. 
I, I'm telling you, put this build on. It is a lot of fun. Now, as far as the attributes for Hunter's Fury, weapon damage, crit damage, and armor on kill for that mod. The other piece of Hunter's Fury, gloves, weapon damage, and crit hit damage. Going down to the knee pads, weapon damage, and crit hit damage. And finally, the holster, Hunter's Fury, weapon damage, and you guessed it, crit hit damage. Now, as far as the skills, you can use whatever you want. It truly doesn't matter. Uh, as far as the gunner specialization goes, it does unlock the Banshee Pulse, and I highly recommend using it. It's a lot of fun. Try it out. Maybe adapt it to your play style. It's really good, especially if you're trying to do run and gun, because you can stun all the enemies, shoot one of them. They all get disoriented from your Hunter's Fury kill all of them, you have all your amplified damage, and you have all your memento stacks. I mean, come on. The build synergy with this one is uh, top tier. Now, the other skill that I'm using is up for adaptation. Uh, I'm only using the Explosive Seeker Mind for the PvP. I do PvP with this build. It's pretty funny. Um, whenever you go MVP and everyone's dead and you're sitting there with armor on kill build, it's pretty nice. But... Um, when I'm not in PvP and I'm in PvE, I'll switch it over to like a striker drone, something like that. That way I get the uh, the NPCs off my back and it takes the uh, aggro away so I can focus on the enemies. All right. Now that is it for the build. Let's finish up with the stat sheet. And this is for the Lady Death. We're sitting at 105k weapon damage, 35k for PvP. Uh, 47 crit chance, but that's because we have all armor on kill mods. And 110% crit hit damage. Don't forget about the headshot damage and armor damage. Going to the offensive tab, we're sitting at 109% all weapons damage bonus and 45% SMG damage bonus. So every time we're using the Lady Death, we're starting at 154% damage bonus total. As far as the gear talents, just a friendly reminder, we have Kill Confirm from the Memento and Obliterate from the chess piece. And then can't forget about that Apex Predator talent from the Hunter's Fury. Going to the defensive tab, we are, eh, I mean, it's about to be rounded up to 1.2 million armor. We're at 1.146 million armor and we hit over 515k on every kill. And that's your 45% factor there. As far as the health... We're sitting at 600 and, I mean, 363k health. I wish it was at 600. And then, of course, we have that health on kill. Eh, it doesn't really matter. As far as the explosive resistance and hazard, both are at 10%, and that's due to my watch level. So let's talk about it. This is my disclaimer for all my build videos. I am currently at watch level 7,203. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. Now, if you are at or above shade level 1000 and you copy and paste my build, you'll get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1000, some of these boxes are not going to be maxed out. So whenever you go to copy and paste my build, some of those numbers might not add up. It's okay. Don't freak out. It's still a great build to use. Trust me. Try it out and let me know what you think. Now, uh, yeah. After that... I think it's time for some gameplay, right? So if you found this build video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. I do daily division content. So make sure you ring that notification bell. That way you don't miss a single video or live stream. And finally, let me know what you think. And it's always cool to see where you're from. So shout out where you're from. But that's it for me. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself and enjoy the gameplay. Peace out. And, uh, oh yeah, roll that footage ha and here we are pve gameplay we're going to do lincoln memorial heroic with four directives here we go now if you haven't already hit that thumbs up support the channel by subscribing we need you to secure the and let me know what you think in the comment section below the true sons will be direct threat to the campus. here we go interested in seeing what the numbers look like once I get full stacks. Because we're going ham right now, just wait until we have full stacks. Got a visual on additional hostiles in the Memorial Compound. They're moving south. 
There's a gate between you. Keep it going. It looks closed from here. Agent, you'll need to find a way to open that gate. Go, go, go. Hear that sound? Reload. That's why I reload after every after every time. Jeez, I didn't even break his back. All clear. Nice. Compound is all clear. Now that can't be all of them. Keep it Check going. the interior while I get Henry's people to meet. Run, 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 run. Oh, hey, I hit uh, 7,200 on the shade levels. Yo, let's go. If you were here for that, you can say, hey, I was, I was there for that. 7,200 on the uh, shade levels. Let's get it. Getting levels very easy nowadays. These projects give a lot of XP. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, we're moving. Damn it. The truce has turned the memorial into a base. We are moving. And just a reminder, this is a uh, heroic with four directives. Like this isn't like <laughs> on hard. It's the hardest you can do this mission. Yeah, you can add another directive and just do pistols, but I think that's a little over, a little overkill. This build's really good though. I'm liking it a lot. see how fast we can do this just with this armor on kill build but I mean it's a little more than just armor on kill I mean let's be real I'm getting the 30% weapon damage from the memento I'm getting the 3% uh, armor region from the memento I'm getting the skill efficiency from the memento I'm getting the extra weapon damage from the obliterate and with all of it maxed out, I get, what, 115%, 120% amplified damage from uh, the Lady Death and Hunter Scary. So, I mean, there's a lot going on in this build. It's pretty damn fun. But, I mean, I, I haven't even gotten to, what, like, half armor? Not even close. And remember, I'm running 1.1 million armor. Like, I'm not tanky. I am not tanky at all. Got him. 
There's an exotic tardigrade. The team from the campus is taking position Let's go. GG's. That's pretty quick. I know they would have used those weapons on us. That was pretty quick. Man, that was quick. Can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Alright, let's see. Thank you. How fast was it? Today we dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. We confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons and eliminated a stronghold near the campus. You should be proud. You saved a lot of lives today. Yeah, but how fast did we do it? There we go. Yo, we just did that in six minutes and twenty-seven seconds on heroic with four directives holy moly never used a med kit never even lost all of our armor nothing oh man that was a lot of fun you know what just because i'm feeling froggy let's let's have some real fun let's just try this in pvp really quick now i know this is crazy because i'm not i'm not taking this serious at all uh, but I do want to see what this would do in PvP. I think it'd be funny. People would be like, what is he... Why would he run that? And then all of a sudden, I'm just destroying. I think it'd be hilarious. Let's do that really quick. And then we'll get out of here. Make this video uh, short and sweet. And if you like this style, let me know in the comments. Where I just uh, go straight through it. Just unedited. Unedited PvE. Unedited PvP. I mean, I do that already, but I think combining it like this, just non-stop, might make my videos go a little bit quicker. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I mean, right off the bat, we're already down a person. Look at that. All right. Skirmish on Wharf. This is going to be PvP. This is 4v4 PvP. First team to 20 kills. Now, mind you, I'm running a PvE build, so this is going to be a little funny to watch. Um, I'm rocking all, like, armor on kill mods, <laughs> and I'm rocking Palisade with armor on kills, so it's pretty funny. Not only that, but I have the Memento on, <laughs> so this is going to be uh, quite the sight to see. All right, here we go. Oh, geez. My PvE build in PvP. Defeat the enemy before your reinforcements are oh, spent. Well, let's at least... Can I at least change my skills? Let's at least change the skills up. I'll, I'll do Explosive and Banshee. Okay, let's go. Alright, so it's 3v4. And we still have a guy that's in the spawn, so he's AFK. Rogue, Explosive Seeker Mine, detected. Uh, mo Money. Hostile, Explosive Seeker Mine, up detected. up there by himself. Rogue drone detected. Mm. Hostile drone detected. Rogue stinger hive detected. Mm, he's about Hostile to stinger hive detected. Yeah. Just don't get beamed, bro. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Don't get beamed. Oh, 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 skill build, skill build. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Rogue restore hive. Yo, detected. that skill build hurt. I'm back now. Restore hive detected. Dude just got me pretty nice with that skill build. Rogue incinerator turret detected. Can't hit that. Go. Hostile incinerator turret detected. Mm -mm. I need to get around them. They're focused on these skills way too much. Right. Let's see what I can do over here. An agent need One's down. Yeah. 
Yo, I just got my first long-term buff. Boost online. I have a long-term buff on my memento Rogue right now. Drone detected. That's crazy. Hostile drone Ooh, detected. Ooh, please don't be damaged. Oh my gosh. The okay. boost is being taken by the enemy. I'd rather armor, but. The enemy has acquired the boost. Rogue explosive seeker mine detected. Hostile explosive seeker mine detected. Just wait it out. It's halfway over. Rogue stinger hive detected. Just wait it out. Oh my Hostile God. stinger hive detected. An agent being assisted. Rogue restore hive detected. Hostile restore hive detected. Agent down. Oh my god. Yo, this is stupid. I'm rocking a freaking PvP or PvE build, bro. I've got memento stacks. What did that guy just try to do? Did he just hood slide? I think he just hood slid. Rogue incinerator turret detected. Hmm. Oh. Yep, that's fire. Yep, I can confirm that is fire. Yes. Yes, I can most definitely confirm. Fire. Fire? Bad. Oh, you about to heal me? I thought he was about to heal me. Get him! Oh my gosh. Agent mm. down. I don't know. Agent killed. I don't know. This is a very interesting game with my armor on kill build. <laughs> my armor on kill build. <laughs> this is pretty fun. All right, we got it. Up by three. We just have to uh, make sure we uh, get that dub. Friendly claiming the supply drop. Without money, Mo over there dying. The specialization supply drop was just picked up by a friendly. Yep, there goes money, Mo. Down. Rogue explosive seeker mine detected. Hostile explosive seeker mine detected. Rogue drone detected. Hostile mm -hmm. drone detected. Now we're up by two. Oh, dude. An agent needs assistance. Now we're up by one. All right. Rogue stinger hive detected. Hostile stinger hive detected. You're halfway through the fight. Rogue incinerator turret detected. Mm. Oh, I ran right into him. That was bad. Agent down. Ran right into him. Yeah, all good things must come to an end, I guess. I thought we were going to have a good game, but I don't know. Yeah, up by two. These skill builds are a problem, though. People use skills a lot. It's like ridiculous the amount of skill builds, man. But I get it. Is there still a player up there? Boost. About to come online. Oh, there was. Mm -hmm. 
I saw him. Alleyway. I see this guy too. The boost is being taken by allies. The boost has been taken by allies. Rogue explosive seeker mine detected. Hostile explosive seeker mine detected. Yo, we have damage. Agent Why? Down. Don't die. Rogue stinger hive detected. Hostile stinger hive detected. Yo, these skills are killing me. Dude, these skills, man. Dude, the skills. Vital signs critical. Oh my gosh. Agent I was still bleeding from the uh, from the seeker. Agent killed. It's all good. We're gonna get the win, but it is uh, it is a little more difficult running it like this. I would not recommend this in PvP, but it is fun. I mean, I'm having fun. I think it's pretty funny. I'm getting a nice little joke out of it. that system disrupted interesting rogue incinerator turret detected hostile incinerator turret detected a specialization supply drop has been arranged for you system reactivated He's not even there. Where is he? He just threw a turret on you guys. Hmm. Found him. Found him. He threw the hive and ran. I see him. I see him. I'm going. That was dirty. Supply drop being claimed by friendly. The specialization supply drop has been claimed by an ally. Mm -hmm. Don't don't run my way. Oh, you, you're giving away my position. GG's. So there you have it. Well done. Armor on kill. I believe this is uh, just under 50% armor on kill that you can clearly use in PvP or PvE. Doesn't matter. But let me know what you think in the comments section below. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. This was the Lady Death with Hunter's Fury. Hey, MVP, let's go. Just went MVP with a memento build in conflict let's get it if you haven't already hit that like subscribe you know the whole youtube spiel i'm kamikaze von doom and i just went nine three and one with 17.1 million damage hope you have a great day take care of yourself and i'll see you in the next one peace out